it's time. We need music for this. Salutations! My name is Eclipse, EQ for short, and welcome to 500 Days, the finale. This is obviously not the first video in the series, so check the description for 1 through 400 days. It'll make a lot more sense that way, and now you've got a lot of content to watch. So let's get into it. Spoilers ahead, I'm not joking. This is your last chance. 500 days. Two planets, one mod pack, one subscribe button you need to press. No more stalling, no more fluff. Welcome to the long-awaited Day 401. Here it is, Day 401. We're back onto the world's laggiest and most unstable world in Minecraft history. This mod pack has been getting constant updates for two years, and every time my world just cries and breaks a little bit more. But tis day 401, and we've got to get to 500. So let's go. The first thing I did was make angel wings. Yes, I can already fly, but it's a new achievement and I want to get all the achievements on the intro tab, so I'm going to be working towards that. They also removed the you have to die achievement now, so I'm actually able to complete the introduction page. I did fly out to do a couple things right off the bat to ease myself back into the 100 days style. I found some boats, got a dim parcel, that's important. I found a new type of boat, they were not friendly, got myself a cobalt shield, that's another quest down, and just kind of futzed around so I can knock out all these quests. Oh shit! Hey! We didn't have to make one! Cobalt shield, that was a quest! But day 402, it's time to get serious. Magical wood. Don't make a penis joke, 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 don't make a penis joke. I got the Spice of Life book, which told me I was close to gaining new hearts from eating new food. I started a quest line I haven't even looked at, and one of those rewards gave me the Game of Light. And you know I had to try. I want to point out the goal for this 100 days is to go to different planets, dimensions, complete quests, and conquer all of MC Eternal. All I've done so far is Simon Says. Good. Let's actually make some progress. It's the end of day 403 and I've started making a bunker in our mechanical structure of I just place blocks and see what happens site. Day 404, I'm still working on said bunker. I promise I need it. It's important, trust me. But yeah, I'm still making the bunker because they updated MC Eternal again and took out the Matic and now you can't vein mine dirt and stone. So this took forever. But hey, my floor looks pretty and now it's time to up my power supply with cows. Yes, the Moo Moo bitches are gonna give me infinite power. Let me explain, but first, my game crashed. Because of course it did. Get used to it, this happens a fuck ton. So while I'm looking for cows, let me learn you something. Using the fish's dead rising mod, I think that's the name, but I can't be asked to look it up, we can set up a cow on fire with a bottle of Moogma. Moogma, get it? Moogma? like magma, but ca mo moogma. And then instead of milk, they will produce lava. We can pump that into a system like so, and... Oh, dude, it's making moo juice. That sounds horrendous. That was the grossest sound I think I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah, you pump that fucking lava, you dumb slut. You dumb slutty, slutty cows. Thomas, Thomas, don't keep Thomas, Thomas. <laughs> Thomas, please, I have a career on the line here. Please, Thomas, don't do this. Now that all that's done with, it's time to build our own dimension. Okay, I can already hear the comments saying, how do we go from cows to fucking dimensions? And don't worry, little Timmy, I'm gonna explain. This is an RF dimension builder, and with an inscriber, it'll make a random fuckload assortment of attributes, throw them together, and make a dimension out of it. Only thing it needs is power. This one's a couple hundred RF a tick, and my Moo Moo's are way more than capable. So with a couple of Ender Pearls and random machinery that I know you don't care about, we made a fucking dimension today. I did it. I did it. 19 minute timestamp, I made the matter transmitter. Holy shit, I used my brain and the power of milking Moo's. Yes! Day 409, and this seems nice and easy, but I brought a couple waystones in case it all goes to shit, because it very well could knowing this game. Everything's fine and dandy, except this dimension actually fucking sucked. Now, I know it's a gamble, because this thing could be anything, but this Lovecraftian-looking spike dimension is not helpful in the slightest. Which sucks, because there's no other way to make a dimension without parcels and dimlets, and you are supposed to get those from this dimension, and I can't, because of said fucky spiky boys. 
So back to the moon I go. I thought I was done with this fucking place. Day 410 on the moon, I found an unbreakable glass sword. Still not better than the sword I have, but neat, I guess. And day 411, I'm sitting above a rat landfill hoping for the dim lit parcels. I'm waiting for it to turn day because of the demon spiders. See 400 days for more details. I, I don't like spiders, or bugs in general, but especially spiders. I don't know if I've ever told you that, but I have a natural aversion called arachnidacnafacnafuckthatnaphobia. So, no. And yes, this is excellent foreshadowing. Day 412, there wasn't anything even in the fucking landfill. Just unbreakable god weapons, creative cheese, the rarest ores, you know, all bullshit. I want parcels. So I went home. Looking in my chest, I don't know why I didn't do this the first time, I ended up having nine of them. Sometimes I forget that I've played this game for over 150 hours. But, well, we've got parcels. These dimlet parcels give us what we need to make special attributes for dimensions. Like the one I'm making now. I call it not a fucking spike biome. I had everything I needed to make this biome except a biome analyzer, which needed to sit in a planes biome overnight to give me the planes attribute. In the meantime, I did some quests and got a box of sealed evil. Naturally, I opened it. Oh dear. Day 413, I cummed in my ass because I can't speak words. <sighs> Day 413, I went to the new planes dimension and it's completely different, but there's open air and that's what I needed. See, in these dimensions, this is where you can find these buildings that have the attribute chips and dimlet parcels. This is how you're supposed to do it, but the dumb fuck off spike land made that impossible to find. Oh well, now we have them. But don't even cut the footage, Thomas, because I immediately found one of the big boys. A level 5 dimlet. No fucking way. Oh, don't even cut the footage. That's awesome. I'll spill the beans of what I'm trying to make right now. I'm trying to build a diamond dimension. Yes, that's right. It wasn't enough to go to the moon, the Aurorian, become a god. No, I need a whole dimension made of diamonds. So those are the dimlets that I'm trying to find. I found quite a lot of what I needed, but I'm still missing the material absorber, so I went home to make that. In the OG RF Dimensions mod, it just sits on a block like the biome absorber for a while. But in this game, it eats them. Googling it, I need about a hundred diamond blocks to make this material absorber. I think some of you may know where this is going. Oh my god. I, I, I never thought it would come to this. I promise I'll make you beautiful, but I need all of your resources for now. <laughs> Whatever. It's done, and we can make the diamond attribute. Day 415, I took that diamond attribute, mixed it with an orb, and my game crashed. Here's a fun game. Take a shot every time my game crashes, and you'll be dead by the end of this video. I promise. So uh, maybe don't do that. I'll get sued. Back into MCE, and it's time for its signature move, dicking me over. Well, actually, its signature move is crashing, but its second signature move is dicking me over. See, I was told that this would take a bit of RF to make, since it's a dimension made of diamonds. You know, the last dimension took about 100,000 RF to build. No biggie. This one? 23 million. That's a bit more than 100K. I wanted to gauge how fucking long this is going to take, so I sat here literally watching it for 10 minutes. And it barely did anything. Woo! 1% baby! This could take like three days! <laughs> oh, fuck, that's a lot of RF. We're gonna need a bigger boat. No, 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 You are the wrong boy! You are the incorrect... Well, there went the cow. Hello there. Oh no, he's here. Too big of a boat, too big of a boat. I hooked up another Moogma, but man, this ain't gonna be enough. So I'm gonna have to wait. What better way to wait though, than to do more quests. I already hate these quests so much. I found me a midnight portal. Yes, the ones I've been staying away from this whole time, and I jumped in. I didn't know what to get, so I just grabbed everything and completed a lot of quests while I was doing it. We're gonna skip that BS though, because I know you don't wanna watch it, because I didn't wanna do it. Instead, we're gonna focus on what was really important. Day 417. No, for old times sake, I'm sure we could just take this thing out, right? 
It's flying. It's flying. We can't. We can't. Goodbye. Goodbye. See ya. See ya. I'm dipping. I don't have last stand anymore. I do not have last stand anymore. Hey, the water looks nice. The water's real pretty down here. I'm going to go to the water, and I'm never coming out. I'm now living in the ocean. This is my home. It's still a dragon. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my god, I was writing notes. Oh my god, I was writing notes and I just heard fucking blocks break. And I'm like, there's only one thing in this game that can do that. Oh god! <laughs> no, 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 no. I'd like to go home now! I have successfully shit my pants and I would like to go home. Oh no! Okay, shut the fuck, there's mermaids here too? The midnight fucking sucks! I thought it would be an easy dimension. Shut up, world, back up. Now is not the time. Day 418, I found a portal and yeeted myself the hell out of there. It's been a couple of days, so I'm sure my diamond dimension is 20%. 20 percent of the dimension made. Oh. I spent the rest of this day trying to figure out how to make a lot of energy, and what I came up with was a set of combustible engines fueled with ethanol made from melons. I could explain how all this shit works, but then no one here would care. So just know melon make gas, gas make boom. Boom charge dimension. After all of day 418 and 419, woo! Wait, does that say 36,000 a tick? Son of a fucking bitch! Day 420. Smoke weed every day. We have a new problem. Now I need 36,000 RF a tick to run this dimension. Well, I don't have time to make a nuclear fucking energy silo, and all I have are cows and melons. So that's clearly not gonna work. But, I think I have the devs beat this time. <coughs> Listen up. In the RF Dimensions mod, there's an item called the RF Field Generator. It holds its own separate charge up to 1 million RF, so I'm charging it to its full potential. When held, even if the dimension isn't powered, I shouldn't die. Oh, did I mention that if your dimension runs out of power while you're in it in the RF's mod, you're dead? Like instant death? Because it's instant death. So my plan is to use this RF field generator to live in the dimension that's completely unpowered. Only problem is I don't know completely how it works, and this RF generator might be taking 36,000 a tick as well. And if we do a little bit of math there, I think there's 24 ticks in a second of Minecraft. 36,000 times 24 uh, is about over a million. So we have less than a second should this go wrong before I instantly die. Or it runs the way I hope it does, where it just takes its own RF and then we win. So it's a gamble. I'm scared. I'm scared. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, I'm so fucking scared. Oh, my God. Yo. Oh, it's going down a thousand a second. Okay, get diamonds. Get diamonds. I can't I can't break blocks. Right, I got mining fatigue because this not Oh no. This ruins my plan. But I did make a world of diamonds. I did definitely make a fucking world of diamonds. Holy shit, the amount of diamonds. I just need to figure out how to live here. If I just chug milk, could I like Could I cheese? Hold on. I got a lot of milk. Don't ask me why I have so much milk. I can! I can! Cheese engage, chat! Cheese engage, okay? <laughs> oh, fuck you, Dimension! It's mine! Fuck all you your insane amount of power needed to run this bitch! It's mine! And in a classic MC Eternal fashion, I break you! I fucking break you! Ha! I am the winner! You are the bad! Suck my dick, you're not my dad! Woo! I fucking broke the diamond dimension! Suck it, bitch! Absolutely suck it! Absolutely suck it! Oh! Oh, it's, it's perfect lore! It's perfect lore! Now I think it's time we build a sign. Day 421, but we're gonna pretend it's 420. Don't tell anyone. I, I did this as fast as I could. We're building the first ever 420 sign on this channel. You see, every 100 days, I get to day 69, so I build a 69 sign. But this is the first time I've ever made it to day 420. So this is a momentous occasion. And I can't make a four. Hold on, hold on, just, we're gonna pause. Okay. 
Tommy, she might want to keep this in the video. I just, all right, how do we do this, Lev? So the left side, get knocked down that, like, you know, that wall, basically, that four, the left side of the four up there. Okay, no, so up, that'll make up. it a seven. Yeah, 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 yeah. hold on, okay. Bear okay with it's me. gone. Okay, okay, so make a block, uh, one block high on the left side now. Actually, two, two. All right, now make, put a block to the right of the, that block, that second block, like, to the right. There. Now put one on top of it. Now put to the right. Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay. Okay. Well, then he's like kind of like skinny now. And no. <laughs> okay. Maybe he needs to be skinny. Maybe he's got to go on that diet. Okay. All right. Yeah, no, yeah, perfect. There we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, now the two. A 420 sign made exclusively out of diamonds and emeralds. I think that's proper celebration. Now, back to quests. See, I have to do these periodically, or I'm gonna drive myself insane with quests. Anyways, grabbing some thorium in the beneath today. That's one quest done. Day 423, I'm on the hunt for a furry. And no, it's not what you think. There's a boss called Ithaqua. Not really hard, I just need to kill a few of them, and they only spawn in the taiga, so I have to go out searching. That's her! Hi, Ithaqua. You are dead now. Day 424, and it's same shit, different day. You know, some people would say that I'm stalling with this because I don't want to go back into space. Me? I, I would say... Fuck you. I would also say my game crashed because my game did crash. Did I tell you my game crashed? My game crashed. This crash was actually so bad, it caused me to have to load a backup of my world, making me lose 10 days of progress. Lucky you fuckers don't have to watch me get that shit back, but it was agony. All this bullshit because I was just looking for a bounty board. That's literally the only reason. It, they spawn in villages. I went to go get one and it crashed. So now, I don't feel bad for going into creative and hacking in a bounty board. Why are you asking? Especially because it doesn't fucking work! <sighs> you have to genuinely find a proper bounty board in this game. And I don't know where I can go that my game won't crash trying to find it. Because all the chunks that haven't been loaded before are all broken. <laughs> Woo! Day 426, I fed a salamander. I hate my life. We're almost done with the quest, at least, though. I did find a board. Uh, it's not important. Don't fucking worry about it, man. This is so stupid. I'd like to keep the flow of this video going, so let's just keep it rolling. So you open up more quests, and you just ask me if I'm still sane. Fuck no, I'm not sane! Day 427, we're finally at the end of the quest line, boys. And I'm sitting here making the last couple quests. Pig iron, night slime, and spaghetti. This mod pack is so weird sometimes. I can't believe this was a quest in MC Eternal. Mom's and spaghetti. Uh, Mom's spaghetti complete. Are we done? Are we open? Oh, it's open. Okay, we did it. Yay! The last, the reason I couldn't fucking finish this goddamn pack was because of Mom's spaghetti. God fucking damn it. Finishing all the intro quests is not only something that I've wanted to do for years, it also unlocks a lot of the shop and selling diamond blocks. This is where I find a bit of a hiccup though. See, I got all these diamond blocks so I can have a big lot of money in all of that. I wanted to be able to buy anything from the shop when I needed it, ores, food, anything. Just infinite money that I could pull from at any point in time. The thing is, though, they ended up nerfing the diamond block selling rate because, I, I guess, because you can make a diamond dimension. That probably makes the most sense. So 32 diamond blocks would give me 160 coins, and that just is not cutting it. So I looked into it further, and I found some good news. These blocks may have been nerfed, but the gems themselves are still 10 coins per diamond. And if I have 5,000 diamond blocks and one block is nine diamonds, you're doing the math, I have a lot of money. Only caveat is I have to manually sell them to the shop. Meaning I have to go in, I have to hold shift, and I have to click it like it's cookie clicker for like forever. I'm not too worried about that though, because in one day, I got like 300,000 coins. That's kind of the theme for this 100 days whenever you look at it though. I don't have a lot of time here. That's kind of the theme for this 100 days though. I don't have a lot of time here, about 20-ish hours left of gameplay for the 100 days. So I can't just set something up that'll take hundreds of hours to do, like all of the Googling for the late game of MC Eternal tells you to do. 
So I got to do it the EQ way. Jank, bullshit, ghetto, and full of cheese. Day 430, and you know, I just had that godlike urge to make my whole base walls out of diamond. This took absolutely forever, but eat your heart out, Luke the Notable. I'm kidding, of course. That man's awesome. Day 432, we finally have a whole wall of diamonds. That's about 3,000 diamond blocks, by the way, in case you were wondering. And no, it was not worth it. I'm just... I'm stalling, okay? I don't want to go to space again, but fine. I had to rebuild my rocket because I don't know where the other one went. And in case you were wondering, uh, it sucked to rebuild that thing. But I did it, and we went into space, hopefully, for the last time. Spoilers, it was not. The end of day 432 came, and I set off for the Erebus planet. And when I touched down... My game crashed! Woo! I love MC Eternal! It's so fun! Day 433, and yes, as if my world wasn't falling apart enough from being an OG 1.2 world of this mod, on day 433, we upgraded to version 1.6. I think my computer's just gonna explode at this point. MC Eternal is going to absolutely be the death of me. And after another relog, yes, I had to reload the whole game again, the Erebus did end up working, so props to the MCE team. I still broke your diamond dimension, but good job on this one. After a bit of futzing around, I found out that the whole dimension part of the Erebus is underground. And I already hate it. I knew nothing about the Erebus going in, and... Well, this was a, uh... Learning curve. Hanging web. I'm stuck in a hanging web. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! I don't know, I heard a spider. <laughs> dude, I'm, dude, arachnophobia is kicking the fuck in. <laughs> no, man. No, man. I, I I need a new job. I'm just gonna become a prostitute. Fuck this. <laughs> well, it took that like a champ. A nasty taste of metallic develops in the mouth and a painful headache begins to build. You're suffering from radiation poisoning. I'm fucking suffering from rad poisoning? Are you shitting me? And I already hate it. Fuck that dimension. Like, like just for real, like fuck that dimension. Like fuck that dimension? Like that dimension, right? Fuck it. Like the dimension specifically, like fuck it. Like fuck that dimension. Oh my God, fuck that dimension. But EQ, there's three bosses you gotta kill there. Fuck you! Day 434, and it's the next day of recording. I had to take a break to actually learn about my new foe, the Erebus Dimension. And I think I have a plan. First problem was radiation, so we gotta fix that. If I just went like... Oh no! Oh, I bought too much gold! Oh, I bought too much gold! I did. I was like, I could make a gold dimension, or I could just buy a lot of gold. Hold on. Oh, uh, because I have a diamond dimension, so I could just get enough diamond, which is just money, which just can buy more gold. I bought way too much gold. <laughs> look, I promise all this gold is required, okay? All right, look. I learned a little bit about the Erebus. Step one, we need all this gold. Holy shit, how much gold? We didn't need all this gold. How much did I, how much money did I spend? All of it, I spent all of it. Oh. <laughs> I spent 300 grand. I didn't mean to spend 300, I meant like 100,000. I meant just a bit. I spent 300 grand on fun, no, dude. Damn it. <laughs> Yeah, dude, my finger was on the buy house key the whole time. <laughs> Damn. I bought so much gold. I didn't mean to buy this much gold. How much gold do I have now? Gold. Scroll down. 16,000. <laughs> <laughs> Day 435, I'm making nature essence with my nature seed and a cloche. These will help us make apples whenever they're ready. You can probably see where I'm going with this. But while that's going, we need magma and ender hearts for something special. These drop from endermen and 
blazes. Duh. Also, if you're wondering why I'm getting all these rare drops so easily, you may have missed it last 400 days, and I wouldn't blame you. A lot of shit happens. But my sword has looting 10, so... I killed the Enderman and made a stack of interdiction torches. These will be paramount to living in the big fucking bug dimension. Day 4 to 36, my apples are ready, and in this mod, you can take gold blocks and make notch apples like you used to in Minecraft. And with all that gold I bought, we made three stacks of notch apples. Each apple takes away 100 rads, and we can check that with a Geiger counter. Once our rads go back to zero, we're ready to go back to the Erebus. Day 438, wait, hold on, we're not ready yet. I have one more thing the enchantment book I got for block reach. And with gapples, block reach, and interdiction torches, we can BS this bug dimension. I'll explain how as we go along. The first boss is the crush room. Not that hard, just if you look at him, he makes you drop your items. So I made a hole to gimp him in, and I know I'm gonna have to explain myself before I get absolutely destroyed for gimping another whole dimension. I asked a lot of people that are really good at playing MC Eternal, and they know what they're talking about, and they all told me I'm not even ready to face this dimension. Even though I'm in the best gear, I actually need to take that gear and forge it with Tinker's Construct, then spend about 20,000 damage hits upgrading it, because they naturally upgrade over time. I don't have that time, like I said. Like, that would literally take like 30 hours. I only have 16 hours left of gameplay. Do you want the whole 100 days just being me sitting at a mob farm getting hit? No, you don't. So we gotta improvise. I did even test this myself and figured out that no, I'm really not prepared for this dimension. Nearly everything like three shots me here. So I'm gonna have to get creative if I wanna beat this. You're about to see how creative. With the Crush Room defeated, the last two bosses here are the Tarantula Broodmother and the Antlion Overlord. But one at a time, let's go kill the big fuck off spider. This boss has a dungeon that looks like it would suck, but lucky for me, I didn't have to worry about it because the roof of the tree is where the fight actually is, and it's just open. So I just yeeted myself to the top, and here she is. I set up an archery box, placed two of my magic torches, and went to town. And... Can I rant for a minute? This is more of a rant to the devs of this game than you guys, so don't worry. Unless the devs are watching this, in which case, I am ranting at you. Also, thanks for making a really fun game, but fuck you for this. <clears throat> what you're seeing on the screen is how you're supposed to fight the Tarantula Broodmother. She has two phases. The first phase, she's immune to anything but arrows. No bombs, guns, and most importantly, swords. Nothing but arrows. I have a Supremium Bow with all the maxed out enchants I can find, including Quick Draw and the Quick Draw Charm. This thing fires like a goddamn machine gun. But that's where the good ends. You see, there's a mod in this, I'm sure you know it quite well, called the Champion Mod. It's used to make the bosses more challenging. They hit harder, have unique attributes, and most importantly of all, have way more health. And this is where you go overboard, MC Eternal devs. As I'm sure you're seeing by me shooting this spider with the arrows, you gave them way too much fucking health. Usually this isn't a problem, because of the enchant Vorpal. Vorpal multiplies the damage you do sometimes, and it's great for fighting these enemies with tons and tons of health, these bosses. Problem though, bows can't get Vorpal. So the first half of this fight, where you can only hit them with arrows, goes like this. If you're wondering, it actually took 15 real life minutes to damage this thing, enough so I can hit them with the sword. So for anyone mad that I'm gimping this, I'd like you to try to fight this thing for 15 fucking minutes doing 20 damage a hit to the 65,536 health boss. Okay, fuck you rant over, I can now actually whip out my sword and kill her. No, Broodmother, come back! Oh no, she dead as fuck. Suck it, bitch! Go away! Part the sea of spiders! This is so bullshit. Holy fuck. Part the sea. Part the spider sea. Okay, well, that's just rude. Sadly, I think the dumbass spider suffocated to death on the last hit, so it doesn't say I got the achievement. But I've got the trophy, so go fuck yourself. I earned that one. That was the easy fight, though. So... Day 441, I went back home to recoup and fix up my clearly not up to par armor before going to the Antlion Overlord. Oops! Where did you come from? I placed down Violet Crystal Block and my boy just pops up? What is the logic here? Shut the fuck up! Now is not the time! Day 442, and to find the Antlion Overlord, first you need to find a pyramid like this. It's usually in the desert biome with the spiders made of lava. 
That should set the tone for this fucking dungeon. Before entering the dungeon, you need to traverse this bullshit maze with little baby antlions and these Zelda spider eye looking things. Make sure to kill them, because if you don't, they will kill you, because the creator of this pack decided they needed fucking 900 health a pop. Interdiction torches to the rescue here. But I digress. The actual point of all this shit is the corners of the maze, and once you find your way to one of the corners, you'll find a statue. It will then proceed to come alive and fuck you. Kill it, and now you've got three more to find. Day 443 and navigating this shit is hell. Also, if you thought you could break the walls and make it easy on yourself, all the walls break into source blocks of lava, so it's impossible to go through and see through. <sighs> Whatever. Once you kill all of them and get enough of all these enemy drops, the pyramid then opens. You're actually right around this corner! Fuck you! Ha ha ha! You think you're better than me with your tiny penis? Once I give the pyramid all the items it needs, a boss will spawn, so I have to act fast. This guy can kill me in about half a second if I don't do this exactly right. I placed interdiction torches all around him because he runs faster than me, and then I immediately jumped up and built up as high as I can in the arena, because he likes to do what I call throwing a temper tantrum, where he just goes... <laughs> he just does that a lot. <laughs> If you're on the ground at any point ever while he's throwing a temper tantrum, you're just dead. You're just like the deadest bitch on record ever recorded in history of dead bitches. You are dead. You get the gist? So I'm up here where he can't hit me. And now he can't move because of the torches. He's stuck in a little like force field. And with block reach, the big bug bitch goes down without a hitch. After killing him, I take his egg and make a waystone and get the fuck out of there immediately. I am done with bug land, okay? I'm not going back. I know there's like tons of quests to do. I don't care. I killed the three main bosses. You can't be mad at me. I'm leaving. I'm never going back to bug land. Fuck the bugs. That took forever, so let's speed things up a little so the video isn't a million years long. And totally not because I lost my notes here. Not at all. My computer wouldn't shit out on me and delete 10 days of my notes. No, that's, that's impossible. And, <laughs> and my game crashed again. Fuck! Day 446, we are heading out looking for new bosses of this mod. I heard they're a bit more reasonable to fight in this, and they're from a mod called Chocolate Quest. I had no idea what to look for, but when I saw the giant temporary boss health bar, I thought I found something. It turns out I did. This is a dungeon volcano thingy, and the way it's laid out had to be one of the most fun dungeon experiences I've seen in modded Minecraft. It's not hard by any means, it's just so unique with its traps and gauntlets and the loot that is surprisingly not ass, finding tons of loot crates and black market crates littering these chests. Which is weird when you think about it, a chest within a chest. Are these chests having babies? Oh, I found the temporary boss! Yeah! Located. Yeah! Day 448, we opened the crystal chest, and I got a lot of stuff that I have no idea about because the treasure mod updated, and it's now too big for my brain. I still threw all the stuff in the well, so at least I'm still participating. Day 449, I went out for more chocolate the next day, and boy, did I find it. The Dallas Mavericks, you said, question mark, question mark! No, that's what happened in my- I just found a boss called- uh. Why is there a chest up here? It has a gun! A bubble gun, specifically! Hold on, it shoots bu- the, Hold on, does it actually shoot bubbles? Oh, this is the best mod ever! <laughs> Dude, the chocolate mod is absolutely awesome. I really hope I get to find the Abyssal King and the dragon that he can ride. I just got struck by lightning! That's not- I am consistently being struck by lightning! What the fuck is doing that?! Why are you- Who?! You fucking cop- You stop that, you son of a bitch! It's you! The storm caller! Die! Quit calling storm- You're a little baby skeleton! I'm losing my mind here. <laughs> giant tortoise! Red alert, there is a giant tortoise. Oh, found a very angry thing. Oh, it's question mark, question mark. What the fuck? He's got a gun! Merlin, Markin. Oh, sorry, my name, my bad. His name is Markin. Well, Markin needs to stop. Markin is dead. Ah, <laughs> oh, the tortoise shoots balls! You are not important. You are not the tortoise. Go away. You are not the tortoise. Go away. Oh, I got stuck in the tortoise juice. Mm. 
I don't like that terminology. Can you- Are you fucking- Mario Kart! Fucking Beyblade looking ass! Stop it! You're invincible when you're Beyblading? <sighs> Let's fight in an epic battle. I can't see fucking anything. What? How do you fight this guy? I- Dropping my sword is not how you fight this guy. Okay. All right. I'm sorry. Chill. Calm down. Pegasus! And what am I supposed to do? What do you do, Mr. Turtle? How do I hit you? Why am I getting radiation? Am I gonna have to Google how to kill this thing? Do you like bubbles? Uh, oh my god! It's the bubble gun! Okay. I get it. I get it. Oh, uh, no. I caught him while he's spinning. It's the fucking bubble. This is the coolest game. That is one of the bosses in the new update. Hell yeah. Day 451 and jump scare. Yo! Oh my god. Oh, holy fuck. You do not get to just do that to me, MC Eternal. Fuck you! Jesus Christ! Oh. Holy shit, that scared me! Day 452, we fucked up Zira... 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 Z... Uh, that guy. In day 453, I found a fucking boat with the pirate captain on it. Killed his lackeys and was ready for an intense battle. Uh, oh. Yeah, he died quick. I don't know what you expected. And because my luck stat is maxed out, I found another one in the sky this time. And what's sad was that the bird was the hardest to kill. Yeah, the bird just explodes on death. Yeah, it just, it does that. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, bird just go boomy. Day 54, this happens. He's got a heart left. Die. What happened? Why is he invincible? Things have gone bad. He's now crashing my game. He's crashing my game? He's fucking my wife? Oh my god! Jesus Christ! I got him! And of course it crashed my fucking game! <sighs> it's taking everything in me not to flip this fucking table right now. Day 455, that's pretty much all the bosses of the chocolate mod. Except for the big bad, which only spawns in the coldest snowy biomes, and I've been looking for this whole fucking time. Yet to no avail. So now we're going out of our way to find the Abyss Walker King. Day 456, I used my nature compass and had it point to Weast, and day 457... You got no armor left, buddy. GG's. That's it? That's all you were worth? Well, let's go find your dragon. The real reason I'm fighting this guy is because somewhere in his keep should be a dragon. This dragon, when killed, drops a helmet that doubles your attack damage with whatever weapon you wield. Mama want. I did not find said dragon head today. I did find Jimbo, though. <laughs> it's a turtle. Damn it, Jim, I'm leaving. 
I don't even want to kill Jimbo. He was disappointing. Day 459 and I've checked like seven of these fucking places at this point and I'm not finding anything. I really hope it's just because I'm stupid and not because they don't have them in this version yet and no wiki article or people in the Discord know about it because the version's so new and that I don't find out about it till uh, five hours later whenever I ask an admin. Of course, couldn't be that. Okay, I give up. You win, game. If I had 700 days, I guess I could run around this taiga that seems never-ending and find the den with the dragon in it, but I don't. So instead, we're gonna go to hell. Go to hell. Because I know there are dragons there. I give up. You win. I throw in the towel. There is one more boss in the chocolate mod we gotta bop, though. It says there's two, the nether dragon, but this guy's not in the mod yet either, so fuck me. But the final boss is in the nether city. And here he is, the boar mage. This one happens to be a boss, so in four millennia I'll be able to kill the dude. But that's okay, I'm really just stalling at this point, because once again, I'm scared of space. After a year I killed the boar mage, and now I have no excuse, so it is time to head to the final planet, the Atum. I think it's Egyptian themed. Day 461, I landed in the Atum and once again looked up nothing, so I'm scared of everything. Touching anything makes me terrified, but this dimension, or planet, fucking whatever, is a bit more reasonable because the enemies aren't fucking bugs. Gravity is a bit heavier on this planet, so with a combo of the player launcher and glider, I can get around a bit better, and uh, of course I'm looking for pyramids. I haven't had good experience with pyramids so far. Day 462, I found one, and holy fuck, these guys are fast. Opening the chests in this place, and everything's covered in rust and shittiness, so I'm not worried about picking them up. Instead, I'm more interested in heading deeper to find another fucking maze? Is the only thing mod developers know how to make mazes? Like, is it that hard to craft anything else? Like, do these guys go out to file their taxes and, oh, drew a maze instead? Come on, man! I fucking hate mazes! At the bottom of the maze is a sarcophagus, go figure. And after another quick Google search, Day 463, I placed four royal torches around the tomb, and of course, a wall in between me and certain death, and spawned the pharaoh. And I'ma be honest, he's just a souped up zombie. That's it. Hard to normally fight though, since he has 11,000 health and we're in a 6x4 room. Still way too much to actually properly fight, so we have to gimp him, but what's it matter? When he dies, you get access to the sarcophagus and can take the rare artifacts within, which were also disappointing. So there's that. Yay. It's okay though, we've got a lot of pharaohs to go. Day 464, I'm in another tomb, and when I killed this poor bastard of a pharaoh, I got the Atum Fishing Rod. That's important, so remember that. What really sucks is that every time I finish the tomb, I have to make my way backwards through the maze just to get out, because you can't break any of these fucking blocks. I ended this day with killing another pharaoh. I'm just a menace to this place. Day 465, I really want to see if I can find anything worthwhile in the Atum, but I think all of the stuff that I have is just as good as it's gonna get. Killing all these pharaohs is just cathartic at this point, because they aren't fucking bugs. But regardless, it's kind of easy, which I'm not complaining. The last dimension I had to theorycraft for hours just to exist in. Day 466, I found this beacon and took it out, only to find out that everyone here was friendly. Uh, whoops. But I got my just desserts right here. You. What? The lost desert assassin? How about you get the fuck out of my desert, you ass in my mouth? Go away. Why can you levitate? What part of the assassin culture teaches you levitation? The speed, I can kind of get. That makes a little sense. But levitation, what part of the assassin culture teaches you to just float like God? Because I clearly missed that step when I became God. Ha! <sighs> Fuck! Also, I ended the day by killing another pharaoh, because of course I did. Day 467, I did something different. I found the last biome in here, an oasis, and fished up the rarest fish second try. God, I'm really running out of shit to do on this planet. Day 468, I found the rare relic ore, and it ended up sucking, so I think I'm just gonna go back home. This dimension was kind of a letdown, but hey, at least it wasn't insanely unfair, difficult, or filled with fucking bugs. But it was very underwhelming, so let's go home. Day 469, I did just that. I went on home and started playing with my resonator. It can burn charcoal into red charcoal, which is a good source of fuel, but who gives a shit about that? We can also use it to make the Japanese kata- I mean, Kiyokoku sword. God, I hope I said that right. 
This sword is super expensive, but I think I have everything to make it. It's just a long process, though, so we're gonna spend my whole entire eternity left in this world making this. Day 470, my world is super broken, but that's nothing new. Today I'm getting sand, because I have a really cool idea for a project, but I need more sand and gravel than previously thought possible. I don't like sand. Day 471 and 472, I'm getting all the dye and hydrating all the concrete needed for my build. Also, in case you are wondering, yes, the Kikoku is getting expensive. Day 473, I'm googling a pixel art website because I have no idea what I'm doing, and the fucking place was like, use red cooked terracotta. Like, okay, sure, thanks. I'm just gonna fucking eyeball this. And so that's what I did. I just used my best place blocks and hope it looks good skills. And you know what? I'm really proud of how this came out. But nothing is finished if you aren't wrapping it in diamonds, so one more layer and... Day 478, I admired my beautiful logo. Shout out to the people watching that actually know where this logo comes from, and to everyone else, just admire the butte and subscribe if you haven't. The rest of the day was spent making the Kikoku, or at least cores of it. So day 479, I bought a lot of gold for the sword, which yes, left me more broke than the average college student, I feel your pain. And day 480, I'm gonna sell all my diamonds, BRB. I did this for three days. May have been a bit more money than I needed, but now I have one million coins so I can buy anything. Day 483, you know the drill though? I spent my diamonds, I go get more. I just feel better if I have 5,000 diamond blocks in my pocket. Plus, I'm gonna need them for the Kikoku sword. By the way, still not even close to finishing that sword. It's so incredibly resource intensive that it hurts. Day 484, I found a giant. It did not go well for him. You know, at this point, it just feels like I'm running around and flaunting the fact that I'm an unkillable god to everything. It really feels like I've done everything here. I'm invincible. Unless there's bugs involved. I'm invincible unless there's bugs involved. Day 485, and I'm in the end just terrorizing the population. Wow, this place looks beautiful with the new Stygian mod they added. Ah, tower golems. You used to be a whole big threat. Now you're this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see ya. The real reason I need to be here, though, was to get the flower for the Kakoku sword. I got it, and that was great and all. But what I didn't know was right here was when MC Eternal was going to get one more up on me. Beat me one last time. Day for 86, I'm still making the sword and getting pretty close to finishing when I run out of nether stars. Yes, you need nether stars to make this thing. I told you, it was insane. You need like 20 of them. But here it is, where my ass gets fucked. What I was gonna do was make the Akel Hestri Tome. This tome uses redstone and or glowstone to charge its book. Once it's charged, you can use this charge to fucking duplicate gold, diamonds, and yes, nether stars. But when I made the book, again, yes, I've done this before back in 300 days, and when it worked fine then, it wouldn't accept any redstone or glowstone whatsoever. And after trying for a whole day, I came to the conclusion that MC Eternal thought it was too easy. So instead of taking out the whole item, they make you waste your time making it just to find out it's fucking useless now. Fucking MC Eternal, you've kicked me over for one final time. Fuck you, I didn't want this sword anyway. So instead, I'm gonna use runes to make my gear look pretty. And with the tarantula shirt, it makes me look like a dollar store Spider-Man. I'm not Spider-Man, I'm like, arachnid dude. Day 488, arachnid dude is gonna go on one more adventure just to find anything I could. What I found was yet another pirate captain. And X marks the spot for some cool riches that I just don't care about. Day 489, and here's another abyssal walker king. Okay, look, I'm just cracked out in the overworld. Nothing can even get close to fighting me, so it all just feels like a waste of time. And to top everything off, I couldn't even find the head which I was told would be on an armor stand to double my damage. But, nope. Nothing. At least this got to happen, though. Domino's Pizza. In an outhouse. Go watch this video if you don't get it. But that's pretty accurate. Day 491, and yeah, really, there's just nothing to do. So instead, let's head back to the base and open all those chests and loot crates and try to have some fun. Now what the hell do you expect from me? I'm bound to break if you keep me bending. I'm tired of playing part in sick little games. Vindaloo, wizard robes, fast conveyor belt ramp, 16 of them, huh? Whoa, whoa, oh, I'm unbeatable. Yes, I'm listening to the Pokemon soundtrack right now, fuck you. 
arrow spiral tint, a xylophone, baby. Hold on, we gotta maybe take off the umber shield. I have played Minecraft for 492 days. And everything I have done has culminated to this point. Where I can play a motherfucking xylophone. Magmatic Florb! Arcane Stone Brick. Void Hand. Another xylophone! Molten Axe. Leaf Blower. <laughs> From the stars and the ancient past, they come to play, but they all suck ass! God damn it, another one of you. Oh, uh, oops, no! Oops, it's not worth it. Oops, don't help me. Oops, no! Don't you dare kill my dog. Where you at, motherfucker? Oops has lived this whole game. All right, all right, fine. I already hear you in the comment section screaming at me. I will open my chance cubes. Oh, I'm sorry. I, a bit of remorse. There is a bit of remorse. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for killing pickles. I'm sorry. All right. Disco party, yeah! And we'll open this one. Woo, disco ball! Please don't kill all the lovely sheep. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, dear! The disco party has gone so wrong. Ah! Fuck! The disco party has been ruined. I didn't mean to ruin the disco party. What else we got? Leonidas? The world's strong, oh God. He's the strongest being. Well, now he's stuck in the water. He was the strongest being. Let's, let's not let, you know, what happened take away from the fact that he was the strongest being. He's not anymore. Die, just stop. Ah, perhaps tomorrow you'll be, no, Herobrine! No, I wanna fight you! Ah, oh, that would've been awesome. That would've been so cool, okay. That's what I'm talking about, bitch! Sorry, sheep. Demonic Blades, hello. too strong, I think. Day 494, one of those loot boxes gave me a game of Minesweeper. And I'm about to show you how good I am at this shit. Thomas keeping the good bits and not me being cringe. I'm the Minesweeper champion. You didn't know that about me, did you? You didn't know that I was the Minesweeper World Tour champion of 1937. I didn't even know that about myself, but damn it, I was. All right, clearly we got some spice in this direction. That's the power of the sweeping mine, all right? We're sweeping for mines. My penis erect. So that's... <laughs> Editor, cut that out. It's done, it's done. We don't want that one. We don't, <laughs> we don't need that in. There's two there, which means it's that one. We win. It goes again! Oh! Oh, oh I'm sweeping for mines, Pokemon. I'm on my way to victory. I could be a champion if I just believe. The game ended up taking all the way to Dane 495, because I swear every time I would win one, it would just be like, the structure acknowledges your efforts. Here's 4,000 more Minesweeper panels. So eventually I just gave up, but I'll have you know, I could have kept going if I had more time left in this world. Damn it! No! No! Ah, uh, it was a 50-50. Day 496, I was running around my base getting all sentimental when I realized I made a Twitch logo. That's how long ago this world goes back. I don't even stream on Twitch anymore. Let's build a better sign. This is the sign to commemorate my second channel, Eclipse Again. Yes, it looks like shit. That's on purpose. Go check out the link in the description to figure out why. 
always plugging. Day 497, as we approach the end of the world, I wanted to see how our godlike form stacks up against the Ender Dragon again. And... So cute how the Ender Dragon tries. Yeah, it's official. Even as a boss, we just beat that fucking dragon to the ground. We're too strong. Man, day 498. And if you'll indulge me, I just want to take a second to kind of reminisce on how far we've come in so many ways. Back two years ago, when I started this 100 days, I didn't even think 100 people would end up watching. Well, fast forward a few years later, over a million people have seen the movie of this, we've gained over 80,000 subscribers, and as of this video going up, I no longer will be living with my parents. And none of that would have been possible if it wasn't for you guys falling in love with this series. This world, the OG 69 sign, Owlicious, Oops, the Wolf, my dragon, and all the adventures and builds, the project, Asa, everything. None of my channel's evolution would have even been possible without this project starting it all 100 days in MC Eternal. And I'm so thankful for every single one of your support on this series. And this game will always have a really special place in my heart. Which is why at the end of day 499, it kind of hurts to do this. Thank you all so much for watching. My name has been Eclipse. EQ for short. And goodbye. <laughs>